Let's dig more into the real estate on the ground. This is San Diego specific. We've changed up the graphs a little bit. We used to have the neat little line graph that went through there. We've moved it over to the bar. We now have enough data that we can actually put the bar graph in. All right, on the left, new listings. The red line, that's approximately the 19th. That's where the stay-at-home order came. The gray area is approximately the month of April. So we have March, April, good portion of May. Same thing on the right-hand side. We started the year off in San Diego County with a historically low number of homes for sale. Coronavirus came around and that problem has now been exacerbated. The rest of the country is now feeling that problem. So what we're looking at, the main thing with the new listings I want you to see is as we have moved from April into May, we are now outlisting in terms of the number of homes than we were at the beginning of March. That is a great sign. If you are somebody who has contemplated selling your house, if you want to help this country, you want to help this economy come out of the repression, put your house on the market, sell it. That's going to stimulate the real estate market. We have buyer upon buyer upon buyer stacked up. I have 15 to 20 buyers that I'm working with stacked up like airplanes waiting to land at an airport. We're just waiting for a house to show up that they like. There's next to nothing on the market here in San Diego. You want to sell your house? Now would be a wonderful time to do it. Call me, text me, email me. I can tell you how we do it safely. When we're talking about pending listings, remember these are the ones that have accepted an offer into escrow. We were doing very, very well. Stay at home order, drop down to nothing. You can see the gradual increase. You can see the definitive increase over the last four weeks. That is a very, very good, healthy sign for the real estate market right there, all right? All right, so let's look more at some May projections. Pending listings. We're projecting 2688. That's a 40% increase from last month. 22% less than last year in the month of May. New listings. 22% increase over April, 32% down from last May. Active listings, an 11% increase from April, 24% down from 2019. Closed sales, 1414. That's the lowest number ever recorded, if that happens, in San Diego County. 35% down from last month, 59% down from the prior year. Keep something in mind with the closed sales. That number is a little bit misleading. Remember, a property has to be listed. It has to accept an offer and go from active to pending, and then it has to go through the escrow process. Escrows can be very short. I would say the normal escrow in San Diego is 30 days. So anything that we're seeing closing in the month of May, escrow was opened in April. It very well could have been opened in May. It could have even been or I'm sorry, not May, in March, it very well could have even been February, depending on the length of the escrow. All right, so this is a, a lagging indicator, right? So it is, it is absolutely behind, but, and what this is showing you is the effect of the coronavirus on the real estate market in the month of April. Here's the last one, median sales price. We're projecting it to be 600,000, no change from the last month, 4% higher than it was a year ago, all right? So those are your... May projections for the real estate market here in San Diego County.